complete with a heated back and forth between Mayor Adams and officials in Rockland County over asylum seekers. The lives of more than 300 migrants bust here from Texas, now caught in the middle. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Lauren Glassberg. David and Liz are both off today. Rockland County declared a state of emergency, vowing to stop a plan by Mayor Adams to shelter asylum seekers at a hotel in Orangeburg. Adams says that New York simply doesn't have enough space to house them, and this is really just the beginning of an expected influx. City officials anticipate 800 asylum seekers will arrive here daily after Title 40 second. 42 ends on Thursday. They are now left looking for solutions, possibly housing migrants in college gyms, public schools, and tents in public parks, or even in the parking lot of City Field. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Torres is live in Orangeburg, Rockland County, with more. Joe. Lauren and Sandra, here are the numbers. The mayor, Eric Adams, wants to send 340 single migrant men from the city to this hotel here in Orangeburg, where it will serve as a New York City-run, New York City-funded shelter for the next four months or so, perhaps longer. But officials here in Rockland County say the mayor never asked to make such a move. He more or less ordered it. And the county executive here in Rockland County, in no uncertain terms, said... Not on my watch. The city declared itself a sanctuary city in December 2016. Rockland County did not. It's as simple as that. And that served as one of the many reasons why federal, state, and local leaders in Rockland County vehemently opposed Mayor Eric Adams' plan to ship 340 single migrant men from New York City to this hotel in Orangeburg, located less than a mile from one high school and three colleges. The fact that it's 340 single adult males in a community that has, you know, schools, churches, playgrounds, college campuses, all right there. And these are people who, by their own admission, are not able to come into this community and work and contribute right now. What are we doing all day long? The Orange Town supervisor learned of the mayor's plan on Friday morning when he called her. She told reporters he offered few details and made it clear this was not a request. You're not asking me. This is a courtesy call, at which point he acknowledged that was the case leaving us with very short time to do our own investigation into what our legal rights are as a town. The county executive said the state of emergency he issued this weekend stops the city from shipping the migrants to Rockland. Furthermore, the Orange Town supervisor said a New York City-run shelter violates the hotel's certificate of occupancy. Housing the migrants would lead to substantial fines and penalties. The mayor's claim that New York City notified suburban leaders of the relocation plan generated this reaction. That is an utter, absolute lie. And if the mayor wants to challenge me, he can. This is the beginning of their plan. This is not the end of it. This is a quote-unquote pilot program. It's a total joke. Well, the verbal back and forth stepped up a notch this afternoon when the mayor's press secretary put out a statement reacting to the stance taken by the county executive here. The statement in part says, we've been met with racist rhetoric and reprehensible threats from the head of a county that will be tasked with caring for less than one quarter of one percent of the asylum seekers who have come to New York City. Try and imagine the reaction that sort of incendiary language generated from the the county executive. Well, you won't have to imagine it. We'll show it to you in our next live report coming up at five o'clock.